The specific identification method to value inventory is often used when a business can rather easily identify the original purchase cost of an item with the item. To determine inventory value using this method, there are three steps. Calculate the cost of goods or the merchandise available for sale, calculate the cost of the ending inventory, and calculate the cost of goods sold, which is actually step one minus step two. So let's go through a very basic example of this to value inventory. Let's say that a business sells a particular item and color codes the boxes as they come into the store. This way they can easily attach a specific invoice cost to each item. For step one, the beginning inventory had 25 items at a cost of $12 per unit, which has a total cost of $300. Their first purchase of the item was on March 1st for 15 units at a cost of $15 per unit for a total cost of $225. Then they made the following purchases of units at the beginning of June, September, and November. And I've listed the cost per units and the total costs in this table. Now if we sum up the number of units purchased, we get 95. And if we sum up the total cost column, we have $1,540. This total is the cost of goods available for sale, which answers the first step. Now for step two. During this time period, the business sold 70 units of the 95 units purchased. So 95 minus 70, or 25 units, are in the ending inventory. Now the business counts the number of color-coded units left in the ending inventory. They find that they have 10 units from the March 1st purchase at a cost of $15 per unit, 10 units from the September purchase at $18 per unit, and 5 units from the November purchase at $20 per unit. And here are the total costs for these units from their purchase dates, which is $430. And this $430 is the cost of the ending inventory, which answers the second step. And now we can do the third step, calculate the cost of goods sold. The formula is cost of goods sold equals the cost of goods available for sale minus the cost of ending inventory. So we have $1,540 minus $430, which equals $1,110 as the cost of goods sold. And that completes the process of specific identification method to value inventory. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time. I am out of here.